Before Jimmy Fallon would go on to host The Tonight Show, before he was on SNL and cracked up through most of his sketches, before he starred in Taxi, which no one saw, I'm kidding, I actually really enjoyed that film. He grew up obsessed with SNL, he dropped out of college one semester short of completing his degree to focus on his comedy. He was making $7.50 an hour working for an improv theater group when he got the call to audition for SNL. My name is Michael McCredden talking about the life of Jimmy Fallon, here for you on Before They Were Famous. we do some celebrity impressions. Uh, this is a celebrity walkathon. She's like, swear to God, I mean, like, why isn't this a dance -a I mean, it's like a walkathon, why can't I make it both? Like a dance and a walkathon. Jimmy Fallon was born on September 19, 1974, in Brooklyn, New York, and is the son of Gloria and James W. Fallon. His father is a war veteran from Vietnam. He also worked for IBM. The family settled in a town known as Saugerties in New York State. His ancestry is five eighths Irish, a quarter German, and an eighth Norwegian. Yeah, that's a lot of, that's a weird pie. He was a Saturday Night Live enthusiast since childhood, and his kindergarten photo included the caption most likely to take over for David Letterman. Side note, my actual high school graduation class, they had me pegged for most likely to be on SNL. Yeah, I'm still waiting for that audition. As I was saying, the guy was obsessed with SNL. As a child, he and his older sister Gloria would reenact the parts of Saturday Night Live that his parents would allow him to watch. In his teens, he would impress his parents with impersonations of James Cagney and Dana Carvey. He was also musically inclined and would play the guitar. Once he graduated from high school, he began working stand-up clubs. He got his first inspiration from a troll doll and used that toy as inspiration to create an impressionist set based on commercials for the role. He attended the College of St. Rose in Albany and he was still a mega fan of SNL. He would actually host SNL parties every weekend where he invite everyone to come on over, watch the show and have a good laugh. He was a computer science major but switched to communications in his senior year, dropping out a semester shy of a degree to pursue a career in comedy in LA. While there, he found work with the improv group The Groundlings and he was getting paid $7.50 an hour. Yeah. Not a lot of money. He did have some luck in LA. He appeared in the feature film The Scheme, originally titled The Entrepreneurs. He received one line in Father's Day, which was cut out, but you could see him in the background. The same thing actually happened to me in Dumb and Dumber 2. Got a line, but you just see me in the background. He also appeared briefly on the show Spin City in the second season as a man selling photographs. Finally, he got the call to audition for SNL and he lit it up with impersonations of practically everybody. You know, my mom always told me to, uh, to get a lot of, I don't, to get some exercise. And so uh, she used to say uh, all the time, she'd say, why don't you go to the store with your mother? And I, <laughs> and I would say, uh, I'd say, uh, why don't you shut up? As for the rest of the story, well, you know the story. This is Before They Were Famous. My name is Michael McCredden, and I'm breaking down all sorts of celebrity biographies here on my personal channel. So be sure to browse, check out another one, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Russell Peters, I don't know, there's a few porn stars, all sorts of good stuff. Dan Bilzerian, that one's really popular. Check him out, also subscribe, share the channel with your friends. I'm growing this one rapidly, as quick as I can, and I'll see you guys in the next video.